Hello everybody, this is Ashley Verma and Intel with Lexus and Company and today in this video I will be dealing with a case named uh, Neelam Gupta vs Mahipal Sharan Gupta and others. The citation of the case is Criminal Appeal Number no. uh, 417 uh, and 418 of 2020. It was appealed in the Supreme Court of India. The bench consists of uh, Justice, uh, Justice Uday Umesh Lalit, Justice Indu Malhotra and Justice Krishna Murari. Uh, the date of the judgment is 29th April 2020 and the head notes of the case include section 12 of the Domestic Violence Act. Facts of the case are as follows. Uh, there were several appeal ar uh, appeals arising out of a common judgment and order dated on 15th uh, November 2018 passed by the High Court of Delhi. Uh, Shri Mahipal, uh, Mahipal Gupta, that is respondent number one, was married to uh, Miss Geeta Gupta. Uh, and had two issues that is one son named uh, Arnav Gupta and one daughter that is uh, Garima Gupta were born out of their uh, marriage. After the demise of uh, Mrs. Geeta Gupta on October 10, 2004, the respondent got married to another person named uh, Neelam Gupta and uh, they both resided in, uh, uh, resided in the premises which is basically in the question uh, in this case. After some time uh, of the marriage, uh, the appellant that is Mrs. Neelam Gupta with her second husband uh, that is um, Sri Mahipal, uh, Mahipal Gupta turned sar and parties uh, and, and parties were before the court of law as Mrs. Neelam Gupta the appellant had filed a petition for protection of her rights of residence under the protection of women uh, from domestic violence act uh, and claimed uh, a right of residence for herself. Further, the trial court had passed a protection order of her residence uh, uh, to the appellant in such premises. Uh, the appellant had also filed a civil suit number two, uh, two nine, uh, 295 uh, of, uh, in the year 2019, such, premi uh, such premises, and she, uh, she had ob also obtained an interim uh, uh, injunction against her husband uh, from her dispositioning uh, from the premises in question. Uh, further, Sri Arna Gupta, that is respondent number two, the son of the first wife of respondent number one, uh, filed the partition suit. Uh, of the premises in question that got uh, decreed uh, and even the final decree was uh, made executable with order number uh, with order date uh, 3rd april 2013 of the uh, of the honorable high court the chamber appealed uh, against the order dated uh, dated on 6th uh, 6 august 2011 which uh, with which the app uh, application of the uh, appellant that is mrs neelam gupta seeking impli implement uh, implement in the suit of partition under rule order uh, 1 rule number 10 uh, rule 10 of cpc was dismissed and such appeal was also dismissed thereby the final decree passed in uh, in, in the in the case 858 by 2010 uh, made executable uh, subject to the vacation or variation of the order dated on 17th Ju uh, june 2008 in domestic violence act Further, the appellant herein uh, had also preferred the RFA uh, uh, OS 96-2013 against the final decree that was also de uh, also demised within order dated on 19th February 2014. Passed by the two judges bench that is Sri Pradeep uh, uh, Nagrajog and Jayant Na JJ, uh, uh, Jayant Na Justice of, they, they both are the Justice of High Court. Further, the application for variation of protection order dated uh, that is 17th June 2008 was disposed by the Mahila Court. So there were two issues in the case. The first is, can, uh, can it be assumed as a shared um, household within a def definition of the prescribed, uh, within the definition as prescribed within the act? And further, uh, the second issue is whether her husband, that is respondent number one, was to provide uh, her with a suitable, uh, suitable, reasonable accommodation in accordance with the law. So these were the two uh, judgments, uh, two issues, and the judgments consist of following uh, points that are: uh, the respondent number one shall, within four weeks from uh, from the date of uh, uh, passing of the judgment, uh, deposit a sum of rupees five lakh towards interim payment of consideration of one third of value of his share in the apartment, as well as. 1 lakh rupees being the uh, rent of 6 months uh, with a rate of 15,000 per month in the registry uh, registry of the court. Within 2 weeks of such deposit, the appellant and the respondent shall file an appropriate, uh, appropriate application under 13B, Section 13B of Hindu Marriage Act 1955, seeking the divorce uh, on mutual ground. Further, 
within eight months, uh, within eight weeks of filing such application, the application shall vacate and hand over the peaceful uh, hand over peaceful possession of apartment to respondent number one. Whereafter, the aforesaid uh, sum of rupees six lakh deposited in the registry of the uh, court shall be handed over to the applicant. If it uh, uh, it we uh, it will be entirely up to the applicant to relocate herself uh, at any place as she deem appropriate. Further, the respondent uh, respondent number one uh, may after after uh, after cause such minor repair work including painting and everything in the apartment if it is necessary. After the sale is effected uh, and the uh, proce uh, proceeds are deposited, uh, a sum of rupees sixty lakh shall be set apart uh, to the hands over the applicant after the stage of second motion in the uh, proceeding under uh, section 13b of Hindu Marriage Act is, take, uh, is undertaken as uh, stated he uh, hereafter. After setting apart said sum of uh, rupees 60 lakhs, uh, rest, uh, rest of the amount shall be handed over to the registry uh, to the son and daughter of the respondent number one from his first wife in equal share. Further. Uh, after the decree of dissolution of the aforesaid uh, is passed by mutual consent, the balance of some amount rupees 60 lakh shall be made uh, over to the applicant by the registry of the uh, of this court. Further, in the case of respondent number one fails to deposit the sum of six lakhs uh, within the time stipulated in uh, clause A uh, of the direction, this appeal shall uh, stand allowed and the order uh, order under appeal will stand set aside. Consequently, uh, the application preferred by app applicant under uh, section 12 of the Domestic Violence Act shall stand allowed. Further, any violation to these directions shall uh, invite uh, action in contempt. Uh, also, within the aforesaid direction, this appeal was dis uh, disposed of and no order of cost was uh, made. So this is it for today. Hope you like it. Thank you so much.